Hi, this is Lynn, and welcome to another Persuasion Bite, bite-sized tips on persuasion that you can use right away. The last few weeks, I've been talking to people about having difficult conversations. And a question that's come up, in addition to Lynn, all the stuff that we can do to plan ahead of time, is Lynn, what can we do when somebody says or does something really stupid or really aggravating in the moment? I've got two tips for you. The first one is breathe. Because here's the truth, when we're under stress, a lot of times we hold our breath. And that just contributes to us feeling overwhelmed. The most calming breath that you can take is to inhale for a certain number of beats and then to exhale for twice that amount. As a matter of fact, let's do that together. We're gonna inhale for three and exhale for six. Okay, inhale, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Exhale, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. You can probably feel your body calming down already. So, first tip, breathe. Second tip, something I've invented that I call the brown thought cloud. Now, you've seen cartoon strips ever since you were a kid. And they show the characters with the little thought bubble above their heads. You can see what they're thinking, but the other people around them cannot. I call it the brown thought cloud because in that moment when somebody is exacerbating you, all you want to do is tell them off. But if you do that, you may get that momentary sensation of, hey, I really told them. But then you have to deal with the consequences, which are usually worse than the situation before you opened your mouth, right? Here's what you do instead. You picture that brown thought cloud above your head, like the thought bubble in the cartoon strip. And you fill it with all the nasty, snarky, sarcastic stuff you would really love to say to this person. But you don't want to get yourself in trouble. So you say it to yourself. What this does is it takes this energy of, of anger and trapness and pulls it out of you and gives it a place to go, which is floating above your head. And then you can smile about how amusing you are and how you really did cut them down to size without them even knowing it. And you can do this while you're taking just a couple of breaths, which the rest of the world experiences as you being patient and thoughtful before you respond. And once this is out of your system, this energy is gone, you can say something that will be in service of your longer term goal rather than shooting yourself in the foot. I do this a lot. And people say, Lynn, you're so patient. No, crazy stuff is floating above my head, but that's how I get through the situation. This week, when somebody does something, is hollering at you, or is being unreasonable, the tough part is catching yourself because moods are contagious and you want to respond in the same way. Give them back the same thing they're giving you. Don't do that. Make the better choice. First, take that deep and calming breath. Second, use the brown thought cloud. Get all that negative energy out of your system so you can respond in a way that will get you closer to your goal. And when you do that, people will perceive you as the most persuasive person in the room. Thanks for watching.